<laughs> well, hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in once again. I am Stephanie Frank, a real estate agent here with the Fisher Group at ERA Struther Real Estate here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Today, I have the privilege of working with a a fellow South Dakotan. Yeah, yeah. Um, his name is Garrett Wendell, and he is the project manager with Quality One Exteriors. And so we're gonna spend a few minutes and let you get to know him and his services and how that can benefit you. So welcome, Garrett. Thank you. <laughs> so first off, so we have a, a few little questions here for you. So how would you describe um, quality one exteriors. Um, we are a uh, multi-state um, storm restoration company. Uh, we go around and primarily do uh, storm restoration after hurricanes, uh, hail storm damage. That's probably about eighty-five percent of our makeup of our company. What we do, um, okay. and then on top of that, we do obviously being a, a roofing company. We we do retail roofing uh, sure. wherever we're at. So. Okay, so that means on the retail side, meaning like some, a homeowner, they just know that they're due for a new roof. Correct. You can do assessments as well as the work. Yep, yeah, we can go up there and do uh, do the assessments. Um, I mean, me and uh, several others, we're all HEG certified. Uh, so we got credentials to get up there and do inspection reports. Um, you know, okay. Buyers and sellers, they want to have an inspection done of the roof. We can go do the inspections of the roof. Uh, just on the retail mm -hmm. side of things. Yeah. Um, Very good. And then also on the, on the storm damage side of things, we're, we're qualified for the storm damage to mm -hmm. figure out whether the, the roofs are uh, damaged enough to where they can be approved by the insurance companies. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we go ahead and we basically represent the homeowners uh, through, the, insur through the uh, insurance claims process to, to get up there, get the roofs approved of, and then do the roofs once they're completed. Awesome. So that takes a lot of worry and stress away from the homeowner, you know, having their home severely damaged right. or slightly damaged. So you take care of like all the paperwork and, and the assessments and and finding all of the insurance information, Correct. that type of thing. Yep. We're uh, mm -hmm. we're I mean as a as a storm restoration company we're a general contractor. Uh, but then uh -huh. the, the bigger picture behind that mainly we do is we're a claim settlement specialist. So we go ahead and assist the homeowners, file the claim, and then once the claim is filed and the adjuster shows up, the adjusters that represent the insurance company, I'm there to represent the homeowner. Uh, we get up on the roof, make sure we're both seeing the same thing, roofs are damaged, yes, and then we get the paperwork back and I'm able to sit down with the homeowners, go through, you know, four pages to 20 pages of paperwork and the homeowner has no idea what all the line items are and what it is and what the dollar amount mm -hmm. is. And, we're able to break that down to them and show them exactly what's approved of, and this is the dollar amount, this is what it's costing, you're paying your deductible this amount, this is what the insurance company's paying. Sure. Uh, and then, yeah, it just takes off the, it's, it's my job to kind of go to work for the homeowner and take the burden off of, of mm -hmm. all the, you know, file the claim and deal with insurance sure. companies and I don't know what to do. So. You know, you're, you're almost describing exactly <laughs> what a real estate agent does. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of work. I mean, oh, we yeah. actually do more than just show a house and open the door. Right, right. Same likewise with you. Yep. And we're, we're thankful to have you around. <laughs> so you mentioned um, you are nationally recognized, and I was doing some some research as well. I noticed that you have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had that. Uh, we've been around for nine years, uh, and so we've done you know, we primarily work um, in North Carolina, South Carolina, where a lot of our business is at. Okay. Um, we're located, uh, corporate headquarters, we're up in Dayton, Ohio, so we do a lot of work right. up uh, Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do most of our business uh, right here in North Carolina, whether it's suburbs of Charlotte, Raleigh, Fayetteville. Right, yeah. Where, it's else, so. <laughs> where we get inundated and plummeted with, <laughs> right, with, right. with yearly hurricanes yep. and windstorms and floods and all that. Right. <laughs> Yay. So we, we need you, we need you. In the beginning in our intro, I mentioned you're a fellow South Dakota, and so I basically I grew up in South Dakota and actually Garrett yeah, yeah. was uh, referred to me yeah. from another friend from South Dakota and you grew up yep, there? Yep. Uh, I was actually born and raised there. 
Uh, spent all 18 years there, and then uh, I went into uh, into the army and was National Guard, active duty army for a while. Ten years, uh, National Guard. Yeah. <laughs> which, so out of out of which, who was your unit? Uh, I was with uh, the 153rd uh, uh, Combat Engineer out of Winter South Dakota. Okay. So they're no longer. They, I think they've disbanded. They disbanded. No longer together anymore. But yeah. So I was born in uh, Burke, South Dakota, and yes. spent my entire uh, 18 years there. Went to college, University of South Dakota, and then went active duty. And, Bounced around. Uh, I spent seven years active duty, um, so I, I never was stationed here at Fort Bragg in Fayetteville. Uh -huh. But uh, through the course of my work, I just I ended up back here. So. Brought you here. <laughs> how did you migrate, and how did you get started here? Um, I actually, uh, yeah, when I got out of the army, uh, I bounced around a little bit. Was up in Dayton, Ohio, uh, working some jobs. I'd gone back to some schooling, uh, and then uh, I actually ended up uh, getting. Uh, recruited uh, and heard about this job it was called One Exteriors because I was actually doing a the Uber drive and ah, picked ah. up my now boss uh, from the company <laughs> Christmas party. Go uh, big here. Yeah, so it's you know it's one of those things to where everything just kind of happens for a reason. And I talked to him and talked to who was the project manager then, and just you know mm -hmm. I had some roofing background and uh, background experience. Had done roofing for three or four years and. They were like, well, you're in the army, like you should be able to, you know, it's something right. pretty, you know, pack a bag, moments notice. Yep. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're like, well, two and two together, that kind of sounds like you'd be good at this job. And so it just kind of happened. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. So I would have never, uh, never had this opportunity. I would have never heard about this job had I not done that. Right. Um, have you not so, been an Uber driver? Yeah. You know, I was, high. yeah. <laughs> so, um, but then, uh, I came out here, like I said, because we do most of our work is out here in North Carolina, and I've been, uh, we came out here uh, uh, September of 2018 for when Hurricane Florence hit. Oh, yes. Uh, we we spent, had a lot of damage yeah, from that. Even probably, here absolutely. in Fayetteville, even yeah, though yeah. we're this far nope. inland. Um, we did uh, yeah. we did a handful of roofs up here from that storm. Uh -huh. um, most of our work was down in Fayetteville, Richland's area, um, mm -hmm. but I had homeowners down there that had, you know, they were military, whether they were Marines or, or Army, but they had houses, locations, both places. And so we mm -hmm. do their house down in Jacksonville, and they refer us up up here huh. in Fayetteville. So we did a, a couple houses up here in Fayetteville. Wow, sure. Um, but I've been, we were down there for that for months, and then you know, her uh, hailstorm in Raleigh happened in Memorial Day time frame, May of 19, and I spent months there working. And so since I've been working here for the company in 2018, uh, I've been in North Carolina working with the exception of about six months. Wow. Uh, I was back up in Ohio covering some ground work and I spent last uh, last spring and summer out in Missouri working a hailstorm. Um, and then I've been in North Carolina the entire time. So it's, I moved down here about a year and a half ago. Sure. Because that's... This is where I'm at. Right, <laughs> this where right. I'm, this is where our business has taken Most us. And work. Yeah, and it's... I'm close enough. Uh, I've been to Nashville a couple times to check out oh, some tornado gosh, damage yeah. and, and hailstorms. It's an eight-hour drive. It's eight hours for me to get up to Dayton, Ohio, where our corporate office is at. Huh. Uh, but I can cover, I can get out and cover the region down here much quicker than being up in Ohio and being sure. farther away. So. Now, is this something like your position? Is it something you need to be licensed for? I know you said you're you're contractor, so you're, mm -hmm. so you have to be a licensed contractor. And then, how does that work for going in different states? Um, yes, yeah, so as a company, yeah, we're licensed. Okay. Um, I myself, I mean, I'm just basically a, a independent subcontractor. Um, right. I've got the, so the roofing managed. experience on my own background. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, but we do go through, like I said, there's a Hague certification course that myself. And, and my what does that mean, Hague? Uh, it's just the storm damage. Hague uh, Engineering basically built the storm restoration oh, okay, business yes. side of things. So they've got the schooling that is, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're Hague certified. You've been through. Sure. And, you know, you're not just up there just pointing at stuff on the roof. You know that there's damage up there compared to. Mm -hmm. be able to tell the difference between what's storm damage, hail, wind damage compared to manufacturing errors, mm -hmm. one's installed or, or installation age, errors, or, yeah, or waging, uh, right. weathering, aging, natural causes God. and stuff. So they've kind of set the standards yeah. for like knowing what's what. And, yeah, yeah. And so that holds weight. To yeah, that. yeah, because we got to get up there, you know, a lot of times, um, I mean, you got to get up on a lot of the roofs and, and you may know that they're, you know, you had hail damage hit, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of times it can be just natural blistering of the shingles from proper or, you know, bad installation, not mm. proper ventilation, uh, so it can look like it's hail damage. Uh, you mm -hmm. can have just your natural wear and tear of the shingles. 
Uh, so I got to be able to get up there and kind of look at it and be like, okay, is this is this legit hail damage, wind damage? Right. Uh, is this something that I can look at and I can get the insurance adjuster out here and they're going to agree with me and not, mm -hmm. you know, laugh at me and kick me right, off the roof? Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> that type of thing. You're so, getting snowed over. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. right. <laughs> so I know, um, I know somewhat, you know, obviously I know houses. So, so the basic... I know basic asphalt shingles. I mean, some are generally like what lifetime of 25, 35 years, yeah, yep. roughly. Is yeah, typically they're, lifespan. yeah, they're, they're, uh, in the shingle world, it's 50 years is the lifespan of the shingle, but it, hmm. it depreciates after 25 years, typically. Sure. So that's why it's a 25 year shingle. Oh, okay. Um, you still have a lot of houses out there that have the old three tab shingles, mm -hmm. um, but those are slowly transition out because they don't make them anymore so mm -hmm. finding those materials are pretty scarce so we as a company we go ahead and put on the architectural dimensional shingles nice um, whether it's uh, on a retail side of things or the insurance side of things we normally do a free upgrade for that so if, wow. as a as a homeowner if you're just wanting to um, you know, sell your house and want to put on a new roof you've got a current three tab shingle up there we're going to put a dimensional shingle on it and give you the upgrade. Right? There's just not really a cost difference. We're right. giving you a cost or a, an estimate price of what it is to put on, mm -hmm. what we put on through tab or a dimensional shingles. Right. Um, are you uh, are you getting into the, the solar panel shingles yet? Um, a little bit. Serious? Uh, yeah, we've, huh? we've heard about that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and, and we got some, not myself quite yet, uh, but some people back at the corporate office are, are going to be going to some of that uh, training and kind of getting spun up on that so we can kind yes. of get all over that. So, I yeah, can it's imagine crazy. those will be quite the upgrade. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're, they'll be pretty spendy. I'm sure, um, yeah. At least initially, you know, for the first four or Two five years. years until they come into the industry. But um, mm -hmm. it'll definitely be an upgrade uh, yes. to having just a, you know, cause I, I was just up on a roof this morning that had two different sets of solar panels uh, on it. And he's got storm damage, and he's you know having to replace the whole roof. And so now we're having to take off the entire solar panel, put it back uh, on. And so with the solar panel shingles, uh, it's pretty. It, it's it's the concept of it's pretty crazy. It, yes. <laughs> so yeah. you're not having to have an entire slope of your house with solar panels. It's, right. it's a few shingles here and there that are solar panel shingles. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> I think that would be so cool. Yeah. Okay. The, the technology. Is yes. Expanded. Here and transition over yes. to the roof. It's, it's crazy. But I, I, I like forward thinking and I, I try to think of more, you know, economic, anything, any way we right. can get more economical or right. environmentally sustainable, right. all that. I was like, if we could do that and find a way to make it cost effective. Yeah, yeah, that'd be the challenge for that'd sure. That'd be great. <laughs> so let's see, we had a couple more questions. So you've been in the business for for a while and you've been here here now you moved here about a year and a half or right. so ago but have been working here for quite some time so what would you say would be kind of one of the the most memorable experiences that you've had working with clients and customers um i would say it's probably just the 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 nature of this job and more storm restoration company so Primarily, we're out there after storms have come through, whether it be the hurricanes with the wind damage mm -hmm. or hailstorms um, with you know people with roofs, siding, gutters, their vehicles getting you know, mm -hmm. pulled. Um, and so the, the biggest, the best memorable thing I've got is just all the homeowners that have, I mean, they've essentially had their lives kind of turned upside down, uh, whether it was from uh, Hurricane Florence to where it was, you know, mm -hmm. roofs were ripped off massive amounts of interior damage to where, I mean, their life stopped for a while. Exactly. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Hailstones aren't so bad, uh, but it's mm -hmm. still, you know, the, the, I mean, we've got golf balls to tennis balls. Sure. Uh, bouncing off your roof and your windshields are bashed in on your mm -hmm. car and all dented up and you've got to figure out how to get to work because your car is out of commission. Precisely. Not to mention your roof. Uh, yeah. So for us to be able to come in and help take care of part of that small little bit of each everybody's yes. life um kind of you, you can say, yeah yeah it kind of lifts the burden off so yeah like I, can, I can step in and say let me go ahead and take care of things mm -hmm. we'll get the paperwork all lined up we'll get the insurance company out here uh, get it all approved of you can go about your daily life uh, yes. try to get back on track and go back to work and not have to worry about what am i going to do on my roof Right. I'm trying to get my car into the shop. It's going to be two months before it's in. Yeah. I got siding that's all, you know, my siding's all beat up. My gutters are beat up. My roof, you know, we take all the, the housing property part of that aspect. Very good. Uh, and so 
so you can eat maybe not not necessarily make them whole again in the house right. but you can give them that leg up right. and give them, get them started so that they can yeah address kinda, other issues yeah and give them just the, the peace of mind that we're gonna get their house taken care of Yes. Uh, they've got you know they've got all their regular stuff going on. They got to get the car fixed, figured out. They got they said I go to work, uh, right? And so I, I can give them the peace of mind of okay, we've got the claim filed. We're gonna go ahead and get your roof taken care of. Awesome. I'll handle all the paperwork. If you've got any questions about that, call me up and I, I'm there. Mm -hmm. Literally twenty four. I mean I've been on the phone at ten o'clock at night with phone lines, oh, sure. talking to them. So much like. Much yep, like your side like work. I do. Yep. <laughs> so my phone goes off all the time. Uh, yes. So. Yep. And a lot of it is, yeah. If you don't answer now, then yep. you know time is of the essence. It, absolutely. And, yep. Especially when you have water coming in, you're <laughs> yeah. not a not a pleasant thing. So obviously, we know Quality One Exteriors is the company you work for as a project manager. How can we tell anyone how to get a hold of you? Say. <laughs> My house is falling apart. Right. I'm just um, How do we get on it? You can always go. We got our website, qualityoneexteriors.com. Um, that usually has a direct line back to our corporate office up in Ohio. Um, mm -hmm. I got my personal uh, point of contact. Uh, my phone number is nine three seven. I have a I have a, a day Ohio area code number still. <laughs> yes, my my cell phone is still a six zero five. Right. That's the cell phone number, but yeah. um, my direct number is nine three seven nine seven one three seven five one. Uh, G Wendell at qualityoneexteriors.com uh, is my email address, so you can always email me and it'll come right to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's like I said, anything either they can always call into the, uh, the corporate office and, and speak to our office manager there, and that stuff all gets directed towards me. Aha! Uh -huh. so. <laughs> so you are. When's the last vacation you've had? <laughs> um, it's. I'm actually getting ready to go on vacation. Oh yay! <laughs> I'm so actually. Back to. Uh, I'm actually going back up to South Dakota uh, for oh. Memorial Day weekend. Day week. Yes. Um, I'll go up there and go spend some time with my son and family. Very and, good. So. Well, give yeah. them my love. I just returned from there actually for my son's no. my fourth, my fourth child, <laughs> my second son. So I've got right. two girls and two boys. So my fourth and last child to get through high school. Right. So he made it. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> <It's all good>. <laughs> <laughs> get there. Get there. Well, yes. Well, it's been so wonderful getting to know you and knowing about your business, and I'm actually pleased that you've decided to come and spend some time today. <laughs> Any, anything, you know, our, uh, our, the whole point of our company, what we're doing is we're out there to help, uh, especially when it comes to storm time. We all know Fayetteville, North Carolina, there's storms happening all the time, so mm -hmm. um, we're out here to help. So anything that we can do to generate, uh, get some exposure. Very to good. the Fayetteville community. I mean, like I said, I, I'm working right now, Cary, Apex, Pittsburgh, Fayetteville, Wilmington, Jacksonville, the whole region in between. So, wow, um, oh, that's a lot to Coming in and being able to come get some, uh, some exposure and get our name yes. out there a little bit. Is Absolutely. Right there, it, so. Happy to help. <laughs> Happy to help. Yep. And one other thing I just thought so, we've mentioned a lot about um, roofing and mm -hmm. siding. Are there any other services that that you um, focus no, on or mainly, like the basic? Yeah, it's, you know, uh, we get asked all the time when, uh, when uh, not so much during the hail storms, but like when hurricanes happen, there's all the interior damage. Oh, you guys do the interior sure. and it's, you know, quality one exteriors. Not quality yeah, exteriors. Precisely. <laughs> right, yes. So, um, we do offer, I mean, we do have crews that uh, uh, specialize in doing the gutters and the siding. Um, but our, our, our bread and butter and what we're doing is, is the roofs. That's what we're really good at. Okay. So Very we, good. we can do the other trades, but our, our, our what we're A plus rated for, exactly. rated for yep. is the roofing for sure. I was so. just going to reiterate that. Yeah. You did it for me. So. <laughs> well, thank you again, and thank you for tuning in. I hope this is uh, great information for you. And give Garrett a call Absolutely. if you have the need. And if you have any needs for maybe the value of your house, you can certainly contact me at 605-210-0283, even though I'm here in Fayetteville. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. Thank you again for tuning in. Once again, I'm Stephanie Frank with the Fisher Group at ERA Struther Real Estate here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. If you'd like to be featured on this website, please reach out to me on the email listed below 
or you can go to parkbench.com slash downtown hyphen Fayetteville and request to be interviewed. Thank you so much. See you next time.